Hi everyone, in this video we are going to show you how to create one page scrolling web pages with Uncode. One page or single page designs are beautiful examples of order, simplicity, and conciseness. Organizing a website to ensure content and navigation stay on the same page can be considered a hard challenge, but when executed correctly, website users will enjoy a flawless and efficient user experience. One page websites are being adopted by some of the world's largest brands. These websites provide users with a fast, clean, and simple navigation that is both attractive and effective. With Uncode, you can create a one page scroll website with just a few clicks. To create a one page scrolling page, you need to activate the simple scroll option. Navigate to Page Options Scroll and activate the simple scroll method. Behind the scenes, your page is enriched with advanced functionalities dedicated to one page website's navigation. When the simple scroll is active, you have three main options. The hide dots option that is used to hide the dots navigation, the disable history option that is used to disable the browser URL history, hash navigation, and the scroll snap option that adds the snaps to rows scrolling effect. To scroll between sections, the row naming is required. Row naming is used to create anchors to which the scroll will be linked. To assign a name to a row, you just need to open the row settings and in the Extra tab, apply a name for the row using the section name field. When you type in this field, Uncode automatically creates a unique slug reference. Note this slug because it will later be used to create the main navigation menu. The section name is also used to create the handy side dots menu widget that allows quick navigation between sections of the page. If you want to apply an alternative slug, you can use the section custom slug. Repeat this operation for all the rows on the page you have a link to. Please be careful not to give more than one row the same name, since these names must be unique. Now we can save the page and test. As it's possible to see for each row of the page, we have navigation dots with a practical tooltip that inherits the name of the reference section. When you click on one of the dots, the page scrolls to the reference section. At this point, there is nothing left to do but to edit the main menu so that even clicking on these elements, the page scrolls to the right section. To edit the menu, please navigate to the WordPress menu editor page. If your website is based on a single page and you don't have other pages that link to a scrolled section of the page, you just need to create a custom link menu item and insert your slug reference with the hash symbol in the URL field. For example, if I need to link to the section that I previously called about me in raw naming, I will insert hashtag about hyphen me. Repeat this step for all items on your menu. I add the new menu item to the menu and I drag it on the correct order. Here we are, the menu is ready. Let's save the menu modifications and let's go to verify our one page scroll. I refresh the page. OK. About Me scrolls to the About Me section. Portfolio to the Portfolio section. News to the News section. And Contact to the last section of the page. Of course, if you need to create an internal link via an icon or a button, the process is the same. Use the slug reference of the row name. If instead your website is based on multiple pages and you have other pages that link to a scrolled section of the page, you need to create a custom link menu item and insert your absolute URL with your slug reference at the end of the URL. So just copy the absolute base URL of the page and add the slug reference at the end. Now I'll show you with only one menu item, in this example news, but in case you have to apply it to all of them. For example, if you created a one-page scrolling page 
and you have some news, when you open a blog post, you will be redirected to another page. From here, if you have an absolute link, clicking the main menu will take you back to your one page scrolling page, and once loaded, the page will scroll to the right section. In these cases, remember that you have to use the absolute URL plus the name of the section, as our example, for all the main menu items. That's it, our one page site is ready and everything works properly.